Looking to take advantage of Cody's new game feature? Then let's get started. For those not in the know, Team Cody has released their latest update version 18, aka Leia. With the latest version comes a new gaming section. This new menu feature aims to include known add-ons like the gaming front-end Big Box, but more importantly, it also will allow you to play emulators directly from Cody itself. This comes complimentary of LibRetro API, synonymously known for its use with the popular RetroArch front-end. You can learn more about this in another video available at the top right-hand corner. Now bear in mind, this feature has not been fully fleshed out as yet, as plans to add game information to the library are still in the works, and certain emulators may not run as well for you as they do outside of Coden. There are also a few things that require some additional setup for certain emulators, which is why I want to give you a step-by-step -step guide to make trying this new feature out as painless as possible. For this example, I'll be using the Windows 64-bit version of Kodi. The first thing we will want to do is grab an emulator. Select the Add-ons option, hover over the Download option, and select the Game Add-ons when the selection appears to your right. As you can see, there is now an emulator and a standalone game section added. Select Emulators, and this will bring up a list of gaming systems to choose from. For this example, I'll go with the Genesis Plus GX emulator. Clicking this will bring us to a new window. The emulator will come with a few add-ons. Some may already be installed, but this will ensure you have everything you need to run it properly. Click OK, and this should start the download. Once things have completed, you should get a notification, and now all I gotta do is add my games. Back out of the main menu and select the game menu. You may be met with the add-on screen. Just click on the dots and this will take you to the correct area. Select Add Games. Just like in the initial Kodi setup video, you'll browse for the folder where your game ROMs are located, give your media source a name, and click OK. This will close out the window, and you should now see the name of the source you just added. I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but if you have not already plugged in a controller, now is the time. Kodi is compatible with many gamepads, and you can actually use it to navigate Kodi if that is your preference. Select the source and select the game. This will bring up a new window. Here you can pick the system that is related to the game. As you can see, the Genesis Plus GX is present as one of the two options. Select the emulator and this should start the game. There is a toggle menu available so that you can make changes. Depending on the gamepad, you may be able to press the home button to bring it up. Here you can change your controls, change aspect ratios, add filters, and more. That is pretty much it in terms of a basic setup, but there may be a few issues that require taking some additional steps to rectify. Apparently, there are some file conflicts that can take place with certain emulators, and so Kodi will not pick up on certain files. Kodi does have the ability to go into compressed files, and you can load games from them, but sometimes you will get a message asking that you extract it. In other cases, you may find that a zip ROM or a file format isn't being found by the supported emulator, which may require that you create a special XML file. To do this, you will need to click on a link in the description box below, select and copy the entire code. Make sure you have turned on hidden files and folders in your folders and search options. Go to your local drive, Users, select your username, then go to App Data, Roaming, and locate the Kodi folder. Once you are inside the folder, go to User Data. Here you will want to do a right click. Go to New and click on Text Document. Open up document, paste the code in the document, save it, and exit. Rename the entire file to advancedsettings.xml. Hopefully this will now allow your game to run with the proper emulator. 
Last but not least, you will need to add your BIOS to a certain location for it to work. This can be found in the same directory where we created the XML file. Click on Add on Data, locate the core that requires a BIOS, go into Resources, create a new folder and name it System. This is where you will add the BIOS, and you should be good to go after that. Remember that the feature is just in the beginning stages of development, and I'm pretty sure there will be some fixes on the way, so I recommend checking the Kodi website for official updates. This new feature certainly has a way to go, but I'm still impressed that it's even possible and I'm certainly excited to see where they take this in the future. For now, this is The Core, your entertainment techie, signing out.